All right, welcome back to the Cascade, everybody. Let's get back to it. So we were about to start the third round, I think, if I recall correctly, and we gotta figure out who's first. Now, me, because Jen's still over here and she's proven she wants to shoot at me, if anything, I think I wanna go last. Because what I'd like to do is, I think I just wanna shoot this guy and then move up here, so I'd be able to shoot that guy later, and I'll shake off my threat. That's a really nice, simple thing. I don't burn through any energy. I'm staying alive, but earning more money. But if I go first, wouldn't you know, I've lined myself up and Jen can shoot me. Wait, do black holes block shots? Oh wait, no, black holes block shots. You cannot shoot through a black hole because of course a black hole, nothing escapes a black hole. Ah, that's interesting. So I could go first um, and I'm totally safe because Jen can't shoot at me. All right, well, but still, I, I wanna save this for when I'm desperate to go first, when there's something on the screen I want so bad. So I'm just gonna play my 250. Now what is Jen gonna play? Jen's got a big 340, but I think Jen has decided now is the time. She's been saving this bonus move, and now's the time she's going to use it. So, hooray, I am first. Jen is second, although Jen will get a free extra movement. So, let's go on ahead and make good on my plan. I'm going to fire. Kerpew! I get another balonium. He's gone. And then I'm going to move one. And that move shook off my threat. And now... If I wanted, I could take another point of damage and get this guy too. Or I could just wait till next turn. Because the other thing, if on my next turn, well, I would like to power down and start buying some stuff with all my balonium. Well, heck, I am, I'm just going to go ahead and take one more, take another shot and get that guy too. Pew! And it's another balonium. Because if I didn't, see now that I got rid of him, there is no threat anywhere next to me. I'm totally threat free. So that's quite nice. All right, so that was my turn. I um, shot, I moved, and then I overcharged to do an additional shot. Easy peasy. Uh, I shook off my threat from the last turn. I didn't get any this turn. Next turn, I'm gonna be in a nice position to relax, power down, heal up a little bit, and buy some stuff in the shop. Yay! Now let's go on to Jen. And here's where Jen, Jen gets a little nasty. Jen, for starters, remember, it's a move fire plus an extra move she's got from that 60. So Jen is going to move diagonally. And that shook off the only threat she had. Then she's going to use her bonus move without having to overcharge and move diagonally again. And guess what she's going to do, folks? You guessed it. Kapew! I just took a threat. And that next turn was going to be so nice and re relaxing and restful. I was going to, but now I've got a shot coming at me. And Jen has put another PVP marker on me. She is clearly Captain Saul Mazalt. I don't know. Captain Star String Feather Hawk must have um, done a huge insult to uh, Captain Zolt at some point. But anyway, so Jen is shot. Now she hasn't pushed herself at all. And, you know, she could just stop right there because she's in a nice position to um, rest and recharge next turn as well. So I don't think she's gonna push herself anymore. She's gonna stop. That was her whole turn. She got another shot off. I mean, although, wow. If she took another shot, because she could just take one, she could hit me again and I have two threat. And I'm so close to dying, Jen would really like to push me over the top and make me blow up. Although she doesn't know I've got the jerry can, which will give me extra life. Yeah, with that, Jen, she's feeling bloodthirsty. She's going to take another uh, overcharge, which is a second shot, and pew, I've got two threat from her. And now she's done. Now, she has no threat because she shook it off from her movement. There's another guy up here, so it gets one threat for her. She'll need to move next turn to uh, dodge that shot that's coming in. And um, she's done. So now we scroll. All this stuff goes off the table. Oopsie. Bye-bye. Everything comes down. Oh, uh, chalkboard, and some new stuff comes out. Another power up, a uh, armored bad guy who is worth two balonium if you blow him because he's got three hit points, and uh, a, a armored bad guy worth one balonium with two hit points. Okay, there we go. So, uh, starting the next round, oh wait, oh crap, and I forgot we were both supposed to draw another Center. Oh no, I got a special one. It's 100. First overcharge is free, so I could do an overcharge without hurting myself. Ah, I see. Oops, and I bumped us both. We were both facing this way, if I recall correctly. There we go. Right, because you can see our rotary cages have it lined up as well. Okay, folks. <clears throat> All right. Now there's... 
Originally, I was just going to rest and relax, stand still, heal back up. Although, here's a problem with that. If I don't move this turn, not only will I not shake off Jen's threat, but I'll get pushed up and I'll smash into this asteroid and hurt myself. So I need to move anyway. But here's the thing. If Jen moves, then I can't, and I'll be trapped, and I'll smash into something. Hmm. Although, there's an interesting thing. If Jen moves, and I just move over here, um, I'll get pushed up, I'll smash into Jen. That will hurt me, but I will get scroll pushed into another player, which is an achievement which will score me one victory point. So that, that's interesting as well. Hmm. Now for that to go, I'd have to go last. I definitely, I would purposely want to go last so that I could be underneath Jen. <clears throat> but if I move and then don't do anything because I don't have anything I can shoot at from down here, you know what to tackle that? I think I want to move up and I want to squeeze into that area at first. Because by the way, you know, these asteroids are indestructible. They have no hit points. If I move over here, I could try to shoot my way through these asteroids, but um, they have three hit points. So there's only one path for us to take, unless we want to crash into something and take damage. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I know I'm going to blow up pretty soon anyway. I'm not going to get a chance to heal back up, particularly if Jen keeps shooting at me. I think I am, well, if I go last, well, this is interesting. If I go last, I get an overcharge for free. So at the very least, I could shoot a couple times at Jen. But I don't know if I'm going to go last. Jen might have a lower value card than this. So oh, this is a tough choice. And meanwhile, let's see, of course, you know, Jen, she does have a lower value card. I don't know it. And she's got a higher value card. I don't know what she's going to want to do. I'll have to think about what she wants to do in a second. <laughs> See, I know I'm going to blow up. If I'm going to blow up, I do want to do it in such a way that I can make really good use of this jerry can. Because I'll get four energy and I'll put off the actual destruction for a turn. So, if I don't do anything, if I say to heck with it, I'm just going to stand still and recharge. Well, I'll recharge, I'll get pushed up in, I'll get two back, I'll, I'll, um, but I'll lose two, so I'll be right back to where I started because of the threat Jen gave me, and then I'll crash into this asteroid on the next turn, but I won't have died. I'll still be alive, amazingly, after all of that business. Because when I, when I eventually blow up, I don't have to blow up because I can get the jerry can. Although, here's the other thing, very close to this power-up. I think I want to grab that power-up. I think that's what I care about more than anything else. So I am going to play... The one, I'm going to try and get to that power up before Jen can get to it, because we're both very close. And now, what does Jen want to do? You know what I think? I think she just decides she wants to get to that power up as well. So she plays her highest card, I play mine. Oh, bad luck, honey pie, I get to go first. Okay. So now, we each get two more, which will be for in the future. I'm the first player, so I will go first. First of all, I have a move and a shoot. I will move. Then I will... Uh, which, by the way, shook off one of Jen's shots. Then I will overcharge myself to move again. Boop. And hey, I made it. I got the power up. Let's see what it is. Do -do 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 -do. A space-time control device. Switch the position of two adjacent space. Wow, so I could use this to move stuff around. Oh, that's very, very nice. I'm happy about that. Now, I got the power up, so we cover this up. No power up for the honey pie. All right. So now I still haven't shot. Although, unfortunately, in this direction, there's nothing for me to shoot at. I could shoot this asteroid, but it won't do any good. I don't get a reward. I can't destroy it anyway. If I could turn around, I could shoot at that guy, but um, I'd need an energy, and that would kill me. So, that's it. Um, yeah, there's nothing more I could do. So, I'm going to just kind of hang out, but I got my power up, and I'm very close to dying. All right, so I'm done, right? I'm done. So now, resolve my threat. I have one threat left. Boom. Kaboom! I just blew up. Now, I've got a choice. Normally, you don't have a choice. You're just knocked out, etc., etc. But if I want, play when destroyed, except by Black Hole. I could play my jerry can. I'm going to do it. I'm going to surprise Jen. I just got a new power-up. I'm going to get rid of my old power-up. I'm going to stick around for a little while longer, I think. Um, am I? This next turn, I'll have four energy. Is there... But there let's see. If on my next turn I could use that four energy that I'll only have for a little bit to get up here and get this power up, but I can't get to it. Although I could move cards around. Wow. I could swap these two cards, and then on my next turn, one, two, I could get another power up. I could get two power ups in a row. 
by using two power-ups. Uh, maybe I should save those for when I need them. Yeah, I'm done. I'm just going to sit here and kaboom, I blew up. So I'm not going to use my jerry can. I'll save that for later. And so off the screen I go. Now, what happens when you go off the screen is every, when, you, when you get blown up, every other player gets two points. One, two. In a two-player game, it's not that big a deal, but with more players, obviously, everybody's scoring those points for staying alive while you blew up. But in this case, Jen, because she contributed two of the threat that ultimately took me down, Jen gets two more points. She just made four points, and I'm at zero. So Jen is in the lead. Now, when I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back at one below maximum health, and um, you know, I'll, I'll come back in next turn. Although I could stay off the board and start shopping. I think that's what I'll do. I've got enough money. Before I come back in, I'm going to shop and I'm going to come back in strong. I'll also be able to come in with my rotary um, cage facing any way I want. So anyway, that was it. My turn is over and I blowed up real good. All right, so now it is Jen's turn. Um, and she has nobody to shoot at. Let's see. And she has, she has no energy. She's about to blow up too. She's got one threat. She's got to move. Wow. <clears throat> if she moves, she'll shake that threat off, but then she'll just get another threat. And more importantly, she's facing the wrong way, so she can't shoot at anybody. She needs to rest to get energy so she could point herself in a new direction. So she could move, shakes off the threat, and then that's it. She'll achieve, accomplish nothing this turn. And then next turn, she rests, gets some energy, and then the turn after, yeah. Jen's going to try and stay alive as long as she can. All right, so Jen Jessica just moved, shook off the threat. She's not going to fire because she'll fire at this. It doesn't do anything. And now she resolves her threat. She has none. She gets new threat. There's another bad guy next to her. She gets one threat back. Although, oh, wait, if she shops next turn, she won't move, and she'll blow up anyway. So you know what? To heck with it, to heck with it, to heck with it. To heck with it, I say. So Jen had one threat. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I think she's going to blow up this time. So we're both blowing up this turn, which is good for me because then I'll get two points, so I'll catch up with her. So what does Jen want to do? She will, eh, the sooner she blows up, the better. Although, actually, no, no. All right, no, no. She's going to power down. She is going to power down. She's going to try and stay on, hold on as long as she can. Her turn, instead of battling like always, she's going to power down. First off, she recharges. She gets two energy. Then she resolves her threat. So she loses one hit point. Then, um, if she had any PvP markers, if I'd ever shot at her, they'd get shaken off. I should have rested before I blew up so that Jen wouldn't have gotten those two extra points, but say la vie. Then, Jen gets to shop. She's got one, two, three, four, five bucks that she can shop with. What does she want to buy? Now, first of all, she could upgrade her rotary cage. So it costs three bucks to do it, and now she can fire in any direction she wants, any time she wants, without having to spend any energy. I think she likes that. But you know what? Let's see what else. Now one thing, there's an achievement. Finish the game without ever having gotten engines. So Jen, which would give her more movement, she is not going to buy engines. As much as she'd like to have movement, she wants to go for that achievement. She's got five bucks. She wants to spend three to upgrade her cage. She'd have two left over. And with two, she could either buy a power-up or she could buy the flamethrower. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's go on ahead. She's going to spend three to upgrade her rotary cage, and now she can fire in any direction she wants, any time she wants. Very, very cool. And then the other two she will spend and, get a, and install a flamethrower, which only has a range of one, but does two points of damage instead of one, like, um, like her normal gun. So, and now, at the end of her turn, she adds new threat, and hey, there's a bad guy next to her, so she gets a threat. That was her turn, and she went on a nice shopping trip. Now, by the way, there's no, even though there's only four slots, you can carry as many things as you can buy. You just put them next to your board. That's, uh, it doesn't say that in the rules, but it really should. All right, so that was the end of Jen's turn. She got her threat, and now, um, hey, Jen is going to have to scroll up because she got pushed. I'm off the board, so it doesn't matter about me. New stuff comes in, and what is it? It is a uh, asteroid and a big bad guy, a black hole, and some more energy, and two little guys. Now, it would have been a real bummer if one of those, these uh, baloniums here came out. Oh, I think this came out, and I didn't add it, did I? Oh, crap, I think we both have one more balonium. Sorry about that, folks. So Jen had one she couldn't spend. Um, if, if another... Universal Balonium came out. Since I'm Astral, I would not have collected, but I'm happy that none did. All right, so we're on to the next turn, and as always, we have to choose first. Um, 
I'm going to go on ahead and 300. Jen will go on ahead with the uh, 10 and just get this out of the way. Okay, so I get to go first. We get new cards. Okay, and I go first. Now, I could battle, and it'd be like when I started the game. I could move into the board, but as you can see, the board's kind of full. I'll take a point of damage for crashing into any of these things. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go on ahead and, and shop. Um, so that means I'm going to refill my health, which means I'm going to do my Energizer thing, which I'm getting close to finishing. Uh, I have, there is no threat because I'm off the board and I don't have any PvP markers. Now I get shopped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight bucks. Oh, Papa needs a new pair of shields and generators and uh, gamma rays and power. Oh. All right, let's go on ahead and grab a shield. No, let's grab a generator. Yeah. This costs two bolonium, and this is nice because it means my uh, maximum can now go up to six. And when I rest, I refill three instead of two. So this is going to help me with my Energizer mission. So that's two. What else am I going to buy? Um, I would like to buy, since I can see how bloodthirsty Jen is, I think I'm going to spend, what is it, two more bolonium, and I'm going to buy a shield. So this reduces the threat. Um, when I'm calculating my threat at the end of a turn. So that's nice. And I've still got four bucks. I think I'm gonna spend three bucks and I'm gonna buy, what am I gonna buy? Oh, I love it too much. The gamma ray or the laser or the missile. Those are all cool weapons. Uh, I'm gonna go with the missile. There we go. And that cost me three, so I'm down to one buck now. So that was a very successful shopping thing. Add new threat. I don't exist, so I don't get any threat. At the end of my turn, hey, I'm at least five, and I'm halfway to my mission being complete. All right, so that was my turn. Jen's turn. She's got one energy, which I believe, but remember, Jen can turn and fire anytime she wants. So she's going to turn and fire. So she hasn't moved yet. She's going to fire. Kerpew! She gets a balonium. Then she's going to move, and um, so that shook off the threat. And with that, she's going to push herself, because she's close to death anyway, and she's going to fire again, Kerpew! and get another balonium. All right, and so that was it for her, a nice, simple move. She could have used her flamethrower, but she didn't have anything to shoot at that uh, took two points of damage. Now, she would love to get over to this singularity, because if you can do three points of damage in one round to a singularity, you get two victory points. But unfortunately, it's on the other side. It's on, it's, there's this wall. She can't get to it. But me, after the scroll happens, I can come in on this side. Lovely. So anyway, so Jen's done. So she, cal uh, she has no threat. She calculates new threat. There's some stray bolt asteroids nearby. And that's it. We scroll. Squeak. What comes out? Um, a wormhole. A turret. And another singularity. All right, cool, cool, cool. And again, we have to choose who's going to go first. When I come in, I think I'm going to come in over here because I can get access to this power up. I can use my new crazy, super powerful missiles to take out the, you know, to smash the singularity and score some points. I'm protected by a wall, so Jen can't come for me. Jen, meanwhile, you know, she's still, you know, she can, well, she could move, but she wouldn't be able to hit anybody. So I don't know what she's going to do, but I'm going to stop right there because I think you've seen a little bit of everything. The only thing you haven't seen is the bosses, but you know what? The bosses are so cool, so awesome. You can see one of them right there on the box cover. I'm not going to show you them. Honestly, it would be spoilers. It is better to go into this game not knowing anything about the bosses because they are so cool and so awesome. All I will say is at the bottom of my deck is one of the four boss cards. It's uh, the Thundergeist. That means, and I don't know it yet, Jen and I don't know which boss we're going to face, but we'll face the Thundergeist, he'll come out, he'll take up a whole row, maybe two rows, he'll have all kinds of special moves and powers, and we'll be fighting to the death against him. And at the end of the game, whether we beat the boss or not, we determine who has the most points, including their missions and achievements they've done and all that stuff, and um, somebody wins. And that's it, folks. That's Kemble's Arcade. If you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the button on screen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, kaboom.